Hello, and welcome to the show Forum 360. I'm your host, Leah Heiser, on your PBS stations and Hudson Cable Group. We are co-sponsored by the Akron Shaw Jewish Community Center, and today we are going to talk about a local group, GAINS, the Greater Akron Innovation Network for Sustainability, with our uh, guests, Karen Starr and Gina Burke. They have a lot to tell us about this progressive group, and let's get started. So thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, Lee. Thank you. Um, so Karen, can you start off by just telling us what is GAINS and what is it all about? And Gina, if you have anything to right add, in. please mm -hmm. please do. Mm -hmm. Well, GAINS is, um, as you said, stands for the Greater Akron Innovation Network for Sustainability. And we meet monthly on the second Wednesday of every month uh, somewhere in uh, the Akron area. Uh, in 2017, we are moving locations uh, for each of the uh, monthly meetings. And um, we focus on some topic in the overarching topic of sustainability. So we have different kind of focus areas that we tend to um, revisit um, every year. And um, we are just, um, we're a network of uh, volunteers that have been doing this for about five years. Uh, we started um, in May of 2012 with our monthly meetings and we've done meetings uh, every month since then. And uh, gains uh, came to be because there were a small handful of us who are kind of local sustainability practitioners, I guess you would call us, uh, people that own uh, businesses that focus on um, a uh, sustainable product or practice. Um, and both um, of you guys um, own and work for sustainable businesses? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, so Gaines, uh, there were some of us that were very involved in a Cleveland-based organization called Entrepreneurs for Sustainability. Okay. And um, E4S uh, was, was their uh, abbreviation. And they um, had some uh, meetings in Akron as well. Well, when they disbanded in 2012, uh, Gina and myself and, uh, again, some, some of the other core uh, planning group members said, you know, we really want to keep this momentum going. We had been, um, you know, starting to really get involved, um, uh, coming together with our individual businesses and our approaches, but coming together um, as the, the larger group through E4S. So we started GAINS um, to keep that momentum going, but to focus it just more on the greater Akron area. So the core board members, um, were they all involved with that initial program in Cleveland, or how did you all meet up together? Um, yes, most were. Um, I can't remember everybody in particular, but there were some core people, Karen and I and, and others, who uh, said, yes, let's keep it going. And um, the, what we felt was most important is that Connect, Learn, and Do was what happened in the E4S network. It was people who had a passion for what they were doing. Many of them were really forming uh, new ways of doing business. And it was, we got to learn together. Mm -hmm. And how do we do this? And so um, I was just really inspired by it. Um, I had long been involved in the green building movement, uh, green building coalition, lead leadership in energy and environmental design, those mm -hmm. types of things that it was a natural to be attracted to uh, in a, a group of people where we just are listening to one another, looking at people who are doing the work and succeeding and, and where they need to learn to grow the next step and then to really be supported in that. Uh, is really the core of who we are as a group. Mm -hmm. um, very much a regional uh, group as well when we, um, at all, all aspects, that's why it's the Greater Akron Innovation Network for Sustainability. Cleveland has just been transformed by mm -hmm. the work of the, the network um, to the point where uh, they have something called Sustainable Cleveland 2019 that is uh, turning the image of Cleveland, but also the real city has evolved into um, the greenest city on the bluest lake, um, and just transformed mm -hmm. the mindset. And that's really important in uh, what we think everybody's work, whatever it might be, mm -hmm. and to, I guess maybe what has evolved with gains is um, cross-sector, more than maybe would have been for E4S and more community focused. You start, you change culture by, um, you know, working with culture and mindset and thinking, just, you know, positive change. So. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So what happens at your guys' meetings? So what, on a typical meeting? Um, we have lots of fun. <laughs> uh, and we uh, usually have several speakers who uh, meet, show us what they're doing. 
and they're always really excited about what they're doing, so uh, there's a lot of great interaction, uh, questions from the audience who are really participating in the process with them. And things that happen that kind of aren't scheduled or built into our topic or ag our agenda for that month um, are things that you know, somebody will have an idea and they'll say the idea to somebody, you know, kind of before the meeting starts and then they'll say, oh, you need to talk to this person. And um, some amazing collaborations, community projects um, have, have been born from just having that monthly touch point of a time and a place that everyone knows, you know, if you, wanna, if you want to um, advance an idea or learn more about an idea, um, whether, you know, business or just in your home, that is um, somewhat, you know, involved or somehow, um, you know, in the realm of sustainability. You can go there and um, and and meet people and learn. Yeah. So you guys really cover all of the different facets of sustainability. Mm -hmm. So there's not one focus, and that's what, what kind of makes it really interesting is that you guys have a broad coverage of that. Yes, um, some of the topics from last year, you know, we always do a local food month because the local food movement in our region is just so strong and growing, um, every, you know, even more so every year, and so we want to celebrate that and learn more about that. So we'll always, you know, uh, touch on that once a year at least. Um, we also had uh, a meeting uh, last year in the fall that was art and sustainability, and it was kind of th looking at um, how those two are connected beyond maybe making art with a reclaimed material, um, mm -hmm. but how can we use art as a vehicle for communication about sustainability? So we had three different, really different uh, speakers that night giving their story, their viewpoint, um, and they were all talking about art and sustainability, but what they were sharing was so diverse. And so we, we love to um, look at, um, you know, that, that giant word sustainability in all sorts of different ways yeah. from all sorts of different angles. So can you briefly define sustainability for our viewers? It's a broad, mm -hmm. <laughs> it, is broad. Uh, and it is really about, you know, what, what will be um, continuing and regenerating for future generations. I mean, that is, is about as tight as you can make it. Mm -hmm. okay. um, and our, you know, we are in a time where we're shifting a focus from a particular sort of maybe older processes that uh, they have a, a life cycle end mm -hmm. to thinking more of how do we regenerate and do things, terms like cradle to cradle, um, um, natural capitalism, that? these are all things that are underlying mm -hmm. what is sustainability. And, and organizations, businesses, corporations around the world are, uh, take this to uh, incredible uh, levels. And it, at, at the heart of it is uh, an ethics-based uh, understanding of uh, people, planet, and prosperity. And that those are three things that always are at the core. A triple bottom line is used a lot. Um, that we, uh, we invest in those things. Um, it's not a cost kind of model. It is about investing and, and you have a balance sheet that should have um, people, planet, and prosperity as the bottom line. Great. Thank you so much mm -hmm. for explaining mm -hmm. that. Uh, for those of you who are joining us today, we are um, Forum 360 and we are talking about a local progressive Akron group Gains, the Greater Akron Innovation Network for Sustainability. And with us, we have Gina Burke and Karen Starr. Um, once again, for those who are just joining us, can you uh, briefly explain what is Gains all about? What is the mission statement of Gains? <laughs> we uh, together uh, are advanced sustainable values, and that is our driver. And we, we all come from a different place in, in some sense, but really, you know, we've got businesses and organizations, institutions, we have community practitioners. I mean, it's the whole gamut. Uh, and, but we all have the, the core belief and understanding that um, it's about regenerating life in our systems, whatever that system is, uh, and it's practicing things like biomimicry. Um, um, could you explain to me what biomimicry is? Uh, biomimicry is a term that was um, coined in a book written by a woman by the name of Janine Benyus, and it is basically looking at nature and understanding, learning from nature to apply that to our systems, our products, okay. uh, cool. our companies, uh, organizations. Um, so how you know how does nature do it? 
uh, and it's transformative. Mm -hmm. uh, corporations are learning to, um, you know, if they make paint, they're learning to not put pigment in paint. If they don't put pigment in paint, how does light reflect color, you know? And by looking at nature, by looking at uh, butterfly wings. Um, Velcro really is cool. a really good example, example of biomimicry. Right. It's using nature's principles for a product, you know, in that, those instances, product design. But, um, you know, so, all, all systems can be viewed biomimetically. Diversity is a very important component of um, sustainable practices. And uh, we have in Northeast Ohio a biomimicry network, mm -hmm. uh, uh, GL Bio. And this is uh, a network of education, uh, K through 12, all the way up to a PhD level. And at the University of Akron, there is the only PhD in the world in biomimicry. Wow. Mm -hmm. wow. And yes. people from all it's over. Really oh my gosh. It's very strong. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. very strong. And mm -hmm. uh, people from all over the world come to the University of Akron and uh, do their PhD. Oh, that is very cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what kind of people are you looking for to become members? Are you looking for members? Do you have to own a sustainable business? Can anybody get involved? <laughs> <laughs> anybody can come to a meeting. They're free, interactive, open to the public. Um, I think it's, you know, kind of interesting to note that we are not an organization. You had mentioned, you know, your board members. We're just um, a, network. a network. A of, network of volunteers. Um, we have been so far. Um, whether we move into some more formal organization structure, you know, this year. Um, we'll, are you looking to, to we become mean, a 501c3 or is that? We're not quite sure how it will transfer um, into, you know, the next stage of growth for us. But we're definitely... Um, we, we realize that to have a formal organization, um, we can provide better programming and right. more resources and, you know, spread the word out in the community better. So we're exploring that right now. But, uh, you know, it's just all, it's, it's all volunteers that come. We organize um, the meetings um, and the people that come are you know, it's, it's really diverse. Um, people who are just interested in learning something about um, uh, maybe, um, you know, something as far as local food is concerned and how they might, you know, com begin composting. You know, right. if we're talking about that, for instance, um, at some point, to business owners of, um, you know, a solar panel company. Wow. It's kind of all over the place um, as far as the attendees. So, uh, I've never heard anyone, you know, say upon leaving, well, I didn't learn anything <laughs> tonight. You know, there's always something to learn, um, and it's great to have such a mix of people, community, um, just, you know, residents in the community and, um, and people from large corporations who are really advancing uh, sustainable values in their companies. Wow. Uh, very mm -hmm. cool. Mm -hmm. So anybody is welcome to come to the Gaines yes. meetings. For and free. For free. <laughs> for free. And food, and it's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Where mm -hmm. are they held, and when are they held? They're always Again. held on the second Wednesday of the month, and you can find out um, the location as we change it each month, uh, depending on the topic and the size of the venue that we need. Um, so you can find us on Facebook. Um, okay if you just Google Gains um, or um, Google Gains or look on uh, Facebook um, or Twitter for Gains Akron, you can find us. And um, from there, you can send us a message to add you to our email newsletter. And um, so we can send out the word of where things are. Each month we send out a newsletter. And we're um, working on um, creating a website for Gains this year as well. Oh, wonderful. Mm -hmm. Very cool. So how did um, how do your businesses uh, relate to sustainability? I know, Karen, you mm -hmm. um, own a Hazel Tree Interiors, yes. uh, which is a mm -hmm. sustainable interior design business. Mm -hmm. And you are um, co-owner. Marketing. Marketing. So how, how does that all relate, I guess? Because um, it's very, very different, interior mm -hmm. design and... I know we touched on that a little bit earlier, but mm -hmm. I think um, it would be nice to elaborate a little bit more for our viewers about the different facets of sustainability and how you guys are doing such a great job of com um, addressing all of these different facets. Mm -hmm. I come from a design background. Um, so whole system design is a term that people are coming to understand what that is. Um, it's been a long time, but that's where we're at today. And so... Uh, my background is in marketing, communication, design, 
and organizational design and development. So it applies to all of that. And uh, I'm a consultant in that area, and I help people. I coach them along in uh, implementing what it is that they, their goals in sustainability, um, which is something you work together to achieve. And one of the great things about the GAINS Network is everybody is everywhere on the journey. Yeah, mm -hmm. which that's is, really interesting. But they're on the journey, and that's what's yeah. so really exciting about it. And uh, we're, there as a, we're, we're there to support and nurture. Um, it's not a competitive thing at all. It's just let's come learn together about how do we advance mm -hmm. what we're, we're all interested in. Um, so are you guys working with the city at all um, to implement some sustainable changes? Um, are you working with other local groups involved with sustainability? Are you guys the only ones um, in Akron? <laughs> Well, we're not the only ones. Um, in uh, the past few years, there has been the Summit of Sustainability Awards that um, was um, an, a yearly award to kind of highlight um, companies that were, um, you know, advanced in their sustainable practices and values within their organizations. Um, um, the city, you know, kind of has focused all of their efforts right now with the combined uh, sewer uh, project and the uh, Akron Waterways Renewed, um, so they don't have um, a, a focused, um, uh, I guess they, they're not um, focused on programming right now with environmental sustainability, so that's where GAINS can come in and provide uh, resources for our community. Um, there are, with the Summit of Sustainability, um, Summit County, uh, many cities uh, have uh, sustainability in, within their structure of, the or, of their cities. Uh, Cuyahoga Falls, Twinsburg come to mind for me, but there are others. And um, we at Gaines uh, were part of the Summit of Sustainability, um, which awarded those who uh, achieved, you know, and you can look them up online and look at all the companies that uh, gained awards as a result of implementing some form of sustainability in what they did. And it's, it's really an eye-opener for people to sort of get the scope of what um, sustainability is for practitioners mm -hmm. and uh, champions within organizations. So one, our aspect of it is because we're like a network, so we just sort of weave these things together as best we mm -hmm. can. And we'll present programming that tells their stories, right? Mm -hmm. And um, so that's what we feel like we can do is tell stories which is what you'll, you'll experience when you come to a Gaines meeting. It's mm -hmm. like, wow, mm -hmm. who knew? This is great. Mm -hmm. you know? And it goes, we, we've had ones where we talk about uh, sustainable health care mm -hmm. um, and talking about designing our um, policies in government around health, mm -hmm. right, as the bottom line, and then what can we do to create uh, cities um, where they're walkable and bikeable, uh, what does that mean for sustainability? Um, we feel like the first question you should ask is, well, how is this sustainable? <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, which will open you up to a wide variety of questions to go for. But then those who present and those who are listening, it's like, well, who are you? What do you do? And why does it matter? Right? How is it really literally making a change? And everybody, that's what people want to do. They want to have a positive Mm -hmm. impact and make change happen and that's uh, we are doing that in, in Northeast Ohio and it's a wonderful story that people can really um, be encouraged by and thinking wow man we're this is amazing in the city, um, especially with the new administration, they're really, you know, uh, interested in finding community partners like our network uh, to help advance things that, you know, that we each can. And um, they are... Um, they're they're really open to the programming that we've done. We have had, um, you know, Jason Segedy, who's our now our planning director for the city of Akron. Um, he has he's uh, been a speaker at Gaines when he was in uh, his role at Amets, and he uh, will be again uh, very soon talking about now his role within the city of Akron and and uh, things like that. So we're um, we have engineers from the city that are regular attendees, and it's uh, you know Gaines is is not just for you know, business people, our government uh, employees are uh, engaged as well. And it's just a wonderful thing to have all of the sectors, you know, kind of represented in our, within our network. And however we can be a community resource, that's what we're here to do. And it's the broader community. It's not just Akron. It yes. is mm -hmm. Summit County and the greater Akron. Mm -hmm. 
um, area. We, we had a, uh, a speaker that is a, uh, from uh, Columbia, uh, and he spoke in Cleveland, he spoke in Akron, and uh, talks about you know these big changes from all over the world. Mm -hmm. So it's, we're regional. Uh, we really focus sort of in Summit County on purpose because this story needs to gain traction in Summit County. We need to see what we're doing, mm -hmm. um, how businesses and citizens are working together, public-private partnerships to achieve sustainability. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Um, yeah. Wonderful. So um, bef before we close up for mm -hmm. today, I'm going to ask you a few uh, simple questions. What is your favorite thing about Gaines? <laughs> Uh, my favorite thing about Gaines is when somebody tells me how it really did change the way that they think about whatever it is, fill in the blank for that. Um, it's to be able to provide that space in this um, you know, regular gathering of people who are just interested in advancing this. Um, it, it really does cha change the way people think, so I just love it. When somebody says that, it's like, woohoo, it's great. <laughs> it's just a great feeling. Mm -hmm. uh, it is uh, probably the most positive experience I have uh, in my weeks and, and months talking to people who are part of GAINS. Uh, mm -hmm. And when I hear from people say, you know, this is probably the most important thing I've ever done, when I listen to the people in the, that work planning for it, uh, there is a passion around that. We really want people to experience that and understand that we're creating a flourishing uh, Northeast Ohio. Um, we're collaborative, uh, and we, we think uh, we have so much to offer each other by sharing it mm -hmm. <laughs> and engaging around it. And people all the time, they just say, thank you, thank you, thank you. I mean, how do you get that in life? You know, mm -hmm. what, what an amazing experience. So. Mm -hmm. Absolutely wonderful. That's mm -hmm. great to hear. Mm -hmm. So um, if you could recommend to do one sustainable thing for our viewers right now, if they went home and if they're at home, they were to do one sustainable thing, mm. um, what would you recommend? You want to go first? <laughs> <laughs> Think about your waste. Mm. Okay. Right. Um, As in what ways? Of, can you elaborate on that a little bit more? It's, uh, it's not hard to recycle. Mm -hmm. um, and think about uh, that. I mean, that is really the uh, uh, low-hanging fruit, as they say. Mm -hmm. um, think about your water. Mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, an amazing water system, uh, and um, there's a cost to it. Um, and then you think about how can I invest in ways uh, that can um, help those two things. <laughs> Waste <laughs> and water, those are mm -hmm. the W's. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say that um, kind of beyond recycling, composting, and it obviously is waste, um, most people don't realize uh, that by putting food waste in with the um, materials like in the landfill, you know, plastics mm -hmm. and things like that, um, it's actually bad. It's, it's much worse to do that than to deal with your food waste um, separately. People think, well, it's, you know, it's good green organic uh, material, but once that um, works in the landfill, it actually is, is really bad with the, the way it um, off gases and, and all of that. So I think that once I became a composter, it was like, wow, why didn't I do this <clears throat> all along, you know? Um, so I would say Google that, start that. It's really easy, and um, it has a big effect. So if our viewers would like to learn more about sustainability, uh, where can they go? Um, they can attend your, your meetings. Mm -hmm. um, could you tell me again when they are and where they can find out information about that? Uh, we meet on the second Wednesday of every month, and okay. they can find out the meetings, um, find out about the meetings and the location uh, for each month by going to our Facebook page. They can just type in Gaines and find us. We're also on Twitter, and uh, the Twitter is Gaines Akron, um, and they can message us through Facebook or Twitter um, to be added to our email newsletter, and uh, they'll get an email each month about the different topic. And once they do that, there'll be a wide variety of sustainable topics that you guys address at your meetings and mm -hmm. um, can connect people with um, others with similar Regional, interests. yeah. I mean, uh, 
Cleveland uh, area of since Hudson, where we're in the studio here, mm -hmm. is in between. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, we think regionally, and there's a mm -hmm. sustainable business network in Cleveland, uh, Cleveland State. Um, there is a calendar uh, that lists everything from conferences to, um, you know, a week, uh, monthly meetings like ours. Uh, so we're all part of that network, and it, it covers everything. Mm -hmm. um, so wonderful. Well, um, thank you so much for joining us today on Forum 360. I'm your host, Leah Heiser, on your PBS stations and Hub Hudson Cable TV. We have been talking about a local group, GAINS, the Greater Akron Innovation Network for Sustainability, with the co-founders, Karen Starr and Gina Burke. Um, this is a progressive group that helps the community um, gather together and learn more about sustainable concepts. And sustainability is a 21st century concept that we will continue to hear more and more about. Thank you so much for joining us today. Forum 360 is brought to you with support from Electric Impulse Communications, Kim and Harvey Nelson, Rubber City Radio Group, Akronist.com, Hudson Cable, Medical Mutual of Ohio, Forum 360 supporters, and the Shaw Jewish Community Center of Akron.